Okay, Crawling in the Dark, playing this in standard tuning. They tuned to something different. We're going to start out on the F sharp down here using the fifth, sixth. Those are the notes we're going to use. And then make sure to pick each one. This goes back to a pick of the F sharp in between. So. second part of the opening riff will be we're not going to play exactly the same because we're not tuned to them so it's going to be C sharp like you're going to do an F sharp we're going to hammer the E to an F sharp <laughs> will be D sus2 which is the fifth fret on the B and E strings barred okay the verse is going to be very similar to the um, opening riff there's a lot of feedback in there but for the most part it's one guitar can cover it The Crawl in the Dark is very similar to the second part of the intro. The big difference is, is going to be when you make the D chord and the E chord, they're going to have the D has the open E droning in it, and the E has the B and the E open droning in it. And I've also added the lowered fifth on the E string for both chords, so you're going to get that type sound. So it's going to be... the course. Okay, the breakdown of, is just going to be E, F sharp, and G. The first two times doesn't have the harmonic slide and there's not as many notes in it. The second two times you'll hear it especially double up on the G at the end. And then it's going to go to... There's going to be a harmonic slide that comes in and sounds best starting at the seventh fret and you're going to work your way up to around the second fret so very slowly <laughs> And you're going to find your best harmonics are seven, five, four, three, two. Okay, the bridge of the song, the rhythm part, is going to be again the D with the lowered fifth, and then it's going to be E to F sharp, an odd version of E to A, then E to F sharp again, then staying on the D and building up on the E. So with those open strings again at the bottom, you're going to hear... <laughs> hear the E coming four and seven on the E string, coming into the A, then one more pass like the beginning, E to F sharp, then to D, and then palm near the E. Okay, the second guitar under the bridge is playing octaves over that last part. It's going to start out on an octave of A. We're going to walk down G sharp E, A, B, A, A, G sharp E, heads to the D. Then you can do a climb with E, F sharp, G sharp, A. So it's going to sound like... <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, the end of the song is just going to be like the regular chorus without the D and the E part in it. It just plays the same thing four times. <laughs> That's it.